Hello everybody, Greg Stagger here, your K-12 tech guy, with a quick video introduction to a useful program called Ninite. And Ninite is a really sweet program for keeping all of your little plugins and programs up to date. Uh, and if, you know, if you've got a computer, you've got web browsers and messaging tools and audio video tools and antivirus tools and all kinds of different tools on your machine, it's hard to keep them all up to date. And it's hard to remember where to go to get all of these updates. Um, some programs have nice little automatic update features in them, some don't. Some you have to go out and grab them manually. Um, and that just takes a lot of time to do that. But it's a good idea to keep all of your things up to date. Um, Ninite is a really great way to do it all together in one fell swoop. Let's take a quick look. Okay, you can see I'm already out here at Ninite.com. And this is the basic screen that you're going to get once you get there. Um, as you browse through now, you can see there's a ton of different programs here, starting with web browsers at the top. Chrome, Opera, Firefox. Hmm, I use Chrome, I use Firefox. So I'm just going to go ahead and check these. As I move down my list, um, I see some other things that I, I use. Google Talk, I'm going to check that. I'm going to keep going down. Oh yeah, I've got iTunes, I've got VLC, and Audacity, that's a great audio program. Uh, QuickTime Player, we're going to grab that one. I'm going to, oh, I need to make sure that my Flash gets up to date and my Java is up to date. I'm going to actually check all of these for myself. And I'm not going to sit and talk about all of these. You can look at them, and just as they're going up the screen, you can get a pretty good idea of what's included here. But just to show you how easy it is, I can select as many as I want that I'm going to use. Um, Adobe Reader and Qt PDF are great. Malwarebytes, uh, don't go home without that. Um, I personally use Avast and you know Dropbox. We're, we'll grab that. Uh, if you have a new Windows 8 uh, machine and you're missing that Start menu um, down in the lower left corner, uh, this is a great one to get and keep that up to date as well. Info Recorder um, and 7-Zip. So we've, we've got a number of different tools here. I select all the ones that I want. I get to the bottom and then I just click on Get Installer. Screen changes, downloads, and now I've got my little executable. Very quick download, very small file. Now at this point we can go ahead and run the file. So I'm going to just open up just to show you what this is going to look like. I've got my updater. I just called it updater. It's got all the stuff that I like in it and I'm just going to double click on that and run it. And what it's going to do let me move this other stuff out of the way. It's just going to sit here and it's going to run. It's going to go through and grab all these different things that I want to have on my computer and it's going to update them for me. How nice is that? Now the beauty of this is I don't have to go find the updates for all these things. Ninite's going to do it for me and it's going to grab the latest version and it's going to make sure that the version it grabs matches the specs that I have for my computer. So 32-bit, 64-bit, it's going to grab it. The nice thing is here too is that if there needs to be an update, it'll go ahead and update it. If it's not installed on the computer, it'll install it. If it's already up to date, it'll skip it and just let you know it's already up to date. But it's a great way to to update everything all in one fell swoop. And I'm going to let that continue to go for a little bit. And let's pull this screen back up here. I'm going to go back to here. And you can see even on the side here, um, this is huge. No toolbars, no next, next, next. Um, none of that stuff. You know when you go out and grab some of these free programs like Flash uh, and other free tools like that, that a lot of times there's some little toolbar, some other program that's piggybacking on there and if you're just going through next 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 uh, and next thing you know you've got a toolbar or some other uh, free program that you didn't want and Ninite will automatically say no 
to all of that junk and it will go through the whole next 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 piece for you so that all of the stuff gets done in the background uh, you don't need any special signups no accounts or nothing like that it just works it's really very nice um, let's go back and take a look at this as it's going oh here yep it updated Firefox and Chrome for me and it's skipping these other things they're already up to date and it's just gonna go through uh, to the end and, and do all of that for me um, really a nice way to keep everything up to date and it's all packaged in one little file that every so often you can double click and let it do its job well I hope that this information was helpful for you if you're not using Ninite yet you just might want to get started thanks so much have a great day